Hi everyone, it's Linda Esposito from Be Clear with Bronchiectasis and I'm popping on to talk about reflux. As many know, there is an association between reflux and bronchiectasis. So we really want to try to do everything we can to quiet down any reflux and prevent it, if at all possible. Um, there are tests out there to uh, be to definitively know whether or not you have reflux. I had a 24-hour pH impedance test um, about six years ago, and I registered about 30 episodes of reflux, but that was considered normal because all people reflux to some, some degree. But what's interesting is none of my episodes were at night when I was sleeping, but rather all throughout the day. Um, but even with that said, I have still put six inch risers under um, my bed the head of my bed. It was easy enough to do because we have a platform bed and um, my husband goes along with it, but I'm sure it's not ideal. However, I do feel that it is something I want to uh, address. And I try not to eat within, let's say six hours, uh, or I'm sorry, six, that would be impossible, within three hours of, of lying down. So that's even if I'm going to nap in the afternoon, I'm just very mindful about that because I do eat a lot of trigger foods. Um, I don't have, ex I don't experience uh, the symptoms of reflux such as heartburn, but I just cut up this pineapple and I adore pineapple and my husband doesn't eat too much, much of it at all. So I'll probably end up eating this bowl within the next couple of days. So um, my attitude is just to do what I can. And I do know that the episodes I had uh, were during the day. And whenever you're bending at the waist, you there, you run the risk of reflux. Quite frankly, even when we're, when we're standing up, we do. So I try to be careful with bending down. If I'm uh, loading the dishwasher, making the bed, or doing chores around the house, um, I just try to bend at my knees. Um, I have good knees right now, so I'm able to do that. I know a lot of my bronchi uh, friends out there um, have joint issues, but whenever possible, I do try to bend at the knees. And um, I, I think last week or 10, 10 days ago, I talked about this product, Reflux Raft, and that it's an alginate, which means it has this algae-like substance in it that creates a raft on top of your stomach contents. And I have been using an alginate for several years. Um, Bronchi sisters told me about it. Uh, and the one I use is, uh, have been using is Gaviscon, but it has a horrible taste. It, it, it's aniseed. And honestly, I have to hold my nose in order to get this down. Um, this was this isn't inexpensive either. It's like thirty five dollars, and I can see it's almost a year old, and I've only used that much. Um, my thought is to take something every day, perhaps before going to bed, or maybe I even taking it in the morning, just to create that raft on my stomach contents and prevent silent reflux because like i said i really don't have symptoms so i just cleaned out my closet i brought my spring things forward and put my winter things back and while doing it i was up and down up and down and all of a sudden i felt heartburn and i'm like yay heartburn this means i can test out the reflux raft so i quickly went and got it and i first let the heartburn develop a little bit i'm like yes this is definitely heartburn <laughs> and i took um some of the reflux raft and it, it tastes really good it's like lemon ginger so i really like the taste and within a minute or so i felt so much better so um i was happy to know that for those of us who don't like the taste of gaviscon there's an alternative now gaviscon is very effective um so i don't want you to think it isn't so now we have two options and if you know me i'm all about options i like to say even with the airway clearance or sterilizing our equipment you know people say what should we use you know should we boil should we use a baby bottle sterilizer microwave bag and i say you know what it's like cooking Sometimes we cook on the stovetop, sometimes in the oven, sometimes in the microwave, sometimes in the air fryer. So 
I like having options. And another product that I'm going to be trying out is called Reflux Gourmet. Um, again, our bronchiectasis community told me about it, so I ordered it, and uh, the, there's, there are two flavors. They also have it in a tube, so I could have ordered a tube, but I thought this was cool because there are these little packets. This one is mint chocolate, and I know we shouldn't have mint and chocolate for reflux, but this is just flavoring. And then there's this other one, vanilla caramel. So I will also be trying these out as well. And these will be perfect for when I go to Connecticut to watch my grandsons. I'll just throw a packet in my backpack. Okay, let me get back to that closet. I just make so, I start so many projects and um, sometimes it takes me a while to finish them. So just wanted to pop on and share this good news about Reflex Wrap. Okay, take care, enjoy the day, and please do me a favor, and if you have a Gmail account, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which I would really appreciate. That lets me know that you're out there and that this is good information for you. Um, also, once I hit 50 or so subscribers, I'll make a new video, um, and you're notified, so when I do make a new, new video, you'll be notified of it, and then, like videos, comment, just let me know you're out there. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.